Hi guys, you're welcome back to my channel. My name is Ruby. So today I'm going to show you guys how to make hair fascinators. Guys, hair fascinators are game changers. They are trended right now. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I made the hair fascinator that I have on my head. One of the things I love about fascinators is that they are very easy to make and then the cost of production is quite cheap and you can sell them at a very estimated amount so guys if you are interested in learning how to make hair fascinators please don't go anywhere keep watching and if you haven't subscribed already please go ahead and subscribe and don't forget to turn on the bell icon so you get notified once i upload a new video For this project, we'll be needing a crinoline. This is about one and a half yards of crinoline. We also need a scissors, feathers to you know accessorize the fascinator, and this is one yard of net. Then a gum. This is B seven thousand gum. You can use UHU gum. Then these are some pearls we'll be using to make. The fascinator look beautiful. Then we have our wire, then a thread and a needle. Then I'll be using an elastic band for this project. You can use a pin, hair pin, or hair brush, or you can likewise use this hair band that I used for this fascinator. The owner of this fascinator actually requested for a black elastic. This wire is about a 7 inch long. So it depends on how long you want your wire to be. You can make it longer than this. So I'm going to gently you know, fold this to form a circle. Now use a thread to hold it down if you don't hold it down with a thread it's going to kind of loosen up so I'm trying to use this thread to hold it down So I am going to tie it off here and then cut off the excess thread we have. So this is our circle. So I just cut out you know some a piece from the main fabric because I want to wrap this wire with the net. You see why I did that in a bit. So I've gone around the wire. I'm trying to tie it off at this point. You fold carefully to make sure you cover every part of the wire. So I'm going to use a gum to round it off because if I don't choose a gum it's going to loosen up. So So this is what we have. Next step to this project is to I'm going to place this in the middle of the 
the middle of the net I folded this net into two and I placed it in the middle of the net and I'm going to take some thread like four strands of thread or you can mix make it five or six now that I have that I'll gently fold this over in this manner you have to be tactical in doing this so I'm trying to form some gathers around it so you have to make it neat so I'm trying to you know gather everything together in a way that will make this look beautiful and then I'm also going to you know gently try and take out any excess that you know is formed inside of it so this is what we have i hope you can see the beautiful gathers you know that we have there this is what the back looks like Once you gather everything together, how you like it, then make sure you hold it firm. It has to be firm. Then with a thread, the strands we cut out, we're going to you know, tie this round. Like you tie it in this manner. And make sure you, make sure you tie it strong. So once you're done tying, I'm going to tie it off at one end so that it won't loosen up. So that is what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to tie it off at one end. So I'm going to tie it off here. You can tie it as many times as you like. So this is what we have. Our base is ready. So I'm going to fold the excess and cut it off. So this is what we have. This is our base. So the next part is the crinoline that we are going to add to the base. Then this crinoline is about one and a half yards. I'm going to start pleating this way. Now, honestly, working with a crinoline is not that simple because this, and once you're folded, make sure you hold it firm. It depends on the style you want to make, it depends on you know the effect you want to create on the fascinator. But for this one, I'm just going to be showing you one example. So I just folded our crinoline, and then this is what we have. This is what it looks like so i'm going to use you know like expand it a little and once i'm done with that i'm going to use our needle and thread to hold this in place and once you're working with the crinoline you have to be firm this can really be very very tricky so you have to be firm with what you are doing so you can sew 
multiple times just make sure you sew it firm make sure it's firm So I'm gently trying to go over it. You have to do this as multiple times as you like. And that is exactly what I'm trying to do. Like I told you before, this can be very tricky. So you just have to be careful when you're working with this because the whole thing can just, you know, spring up and scatter so you have to be careful so i'm trying to you know bend it over this way i'm still once i bend it over this way i'm going to still hold it in place with a needle you need a needle to hold a crinoline in place gum alone can't hold it in place so you need a needle and a thread to do that so that's exactly what i'm trying to do so once you're done with what with, once you're done with sewing you have to tie it off at one end and you have to make that very tight so this is what it looks like on our base so i'm going to go ahead and attach this to the base with a needle i'm going to attach it in such a way that this crinoline will cover that point you can see it has to cover it so that it will look neat So once you're satisfied with what you have, you're still going to tie it off somewhere. So I'm trying to tie it off at this point because I am okay with the firmness. So I'm just going to tie it off. So this is what it looks like the next part will be to get an elastic band now it depends on the size of your head so you just take this elastic band put it around your head and then just give a little allowance for folding now and i'm going to use a black thread and a needle to hold it in place you can sew on the machine if you so wish but i just want to use a needle to sew this like i told you before the owner of the fascinator wants a black band because she wants something that will match with her hair color so she wants a black band she doesn't want a comb or a pin or a hairband what she wants is an elastic so that's why i'm using this one for her so our elastic band is ready so i'm going to cut off the excess rope we have there so i cut out a piece from our net i'm going to be using it to hold our elastic band in place So 
this is exactly how I'm going to fix it to the fascinator. This is what it's going to look like. So I'm going to gently use a thread and a needle and also hold it in place. I'm going to sew this into the fascinator itself all through the crinoline. So this is what we have. So I'm going to use some feathers to you know make it look a little bit exaggerated. I'm attaching, I'm going to you know fix these feathers with a gorm. Like I told you before, you can use a UHU gorm or B20, B6000 or B7000. There are so many thousands there in the market, so you can use any one you like. So once you're done with fixing your feathers, you can wear it this way if you so wish. But I I wish to add some pearls to this. So I'll be fixing those pearls with our gun. So I'm going to put some quantity of gum on the pearl. Please make sure you cover your gum each time you use it because it can quickly dry up. And I'll place the pearl on the crinoline. I'm going to do this all around. And then I also want to put some pearls on the base itself. I'm also going to add some quantity of gum on the pearl and I'll fix it on the net. I'm going to do that all round. So guys, this is the final look. This is what our satellite hair fascinator looks like on this doll. Hope you guys like it. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please go ahead and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on the bell icon so you get notified once I upload a new video. And guys, if there are some other kinds of fascinators you'd like me to make, or any other kind of video you'd like me to make, please let me know in the comment section below. And I'll try as much as possible to do them for you guys. So guys, until next time, my name is Shubi. And I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye-bye.